Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to go over the coding for our lyrics compressed game, where you guess the song based on the lyrics. This is the activity that we've been doing. You can see on the class page, I gave you the media that you would need. I also gave you songs that were compressing because they have a lot of the same words. Click on this and you can see there's the song name. Here's the video link if they guessed the song correct that we would show of the song. Here's the lyrics and we have a bunch of these songs. We're actually going to use this today to code our, our game. On day one, I asked you, because you have enough experience this year in AP Computer Science Principles, to actually design this on your own. So I gave you the picture. You can look at my components and you actually see how I designed that. That was screen one, and this was screen two. And I also gave you the code solution. So if you click on this, this is the actual solution. So this video is going to walk you through how to actually code this app. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. In the previous video, we already coded our home screen. We also coded the update song. Now we need to compress the lyrics by the same words. So for example, in this, you see purple a bunch of times. You see rain a bunch of times. You see laughing. You see want. You can see the see you. So we want to compress the same type of words. And we did this in our unplugged activity for topic 2.2 from the AP classroom from AP computer science principles, which was data compression, compressing similar objects. So that's what we're going to do here. We're actually going to build that out. You did it on paper, but now let's actually program it. So step seven is compress lyrics by the same word. I'm going to build a procedure to do this. So I'm going to pull out my procedure and I'm just going to say compress lyrics words, right? And so I don't forget number step seven is up there. So I'm just going to call this here. Now for this, let's add in our comments. What are we doing? We are compressing song lyrics by words, by same words, right? Same thing that we called it. What we're going to do step one, replace all special characters and lyrics. We don't care about those. So that's like a dot, a comma, a quote, a question mark, a... So like these are your special characters. And let me just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. I want to make this a little bit bigger for you. So these are considered special characters. Like, let's see if I can find an example. So see like up has a comma here. I want to replace all that because up with a comma and up without a comma won't be the same thing. Or, or like here, woo. So woo has this parentheses on each side. In some instances, it might not replace it. So I want to get rid of those special characters. That's what we're going to do first. And number two, what should we do? We want to split the lyrics into words into words number three what we're gonna do we're gonna loop we have not gone over loops but we are the next big idea for AP computer science principles is algorithms and programming we're gonna go over conditionals we're gonna go and go over if statements and nested ifs and loops and all these great things we want to program a lot of that so some of the things we've been using and I've been telling you we're gonna learn we're about to jump into that main part of this year so we're going to use a loop for each word and we're going to make sure like we don't want to compress I. So any word that's greater than two or A. So like we would compress T-O because that's two letters. So we're going to say any word greater than one. So we don't just want to compress a letter like I or A. We want to co compress a word. So any word greater than in lyrics and we're going to loop through that. We're going to add to word compressed look up with a compressed number B and we'll kind of go through this. We're going to place lyric with 
the thing we made, which is the blank space of the word. C, what are we gonna do? We're going to replace the word in lyric compress with the number. D, we are going to add one to compressed number count. Once we compress a word, we're gonna add the word with the number value in this dictionary. We're gonna actually add to this, that way we know how many words we have compressed. We're gonna use blank space to re replace that word inside of the lyric. So that's how we're gonna compress it using this and just simple numbers. You know what I'm missing? I did this a little bit wrong. First, I need wanna, wanna make lyrics compressed equal to lyrics. So I'm just pretty much copying it. And I'll just update this two, three, and four. So this is all that we're doing in here. So up in update song, we set, we set our lyrics, but when we compress our lyrics, we wanna make sure that lyric compress, which is just gonna be numbers that we're gonna look up. We wanna make sure that it first starts out as lyrics. So I'm just gonna to go to part one. I'm gonna pull in set lyrics, and I'm gonna do this as lyrics compressed, and I'm just gonna to go to this and get whatever our current lyrics are. So remember, when I update song, I'm calling compressed lyrics by same words. First thing I wanna do is make sure I copy lyrics compressed to be lyrics. Lyrics compressed is just gonna be numbers. Lyrics is pretty much going to be blank spaces that will be replaced by words when you press on this hint button. So now, replace all special characters. So I want to replace all special characters, and let me show you how to do that. We're gonna make a procedure for that as well, um, versus doing it all in here. Now, because I want to just simply replace all the characters and give me back that information, we're gonna make a procedure, but we're gonna get a result. So I'm gonna pull this type of procedure. These procedures, everything's contained in the code. This is a procedure that can return you a result. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna call it replace all special characters. And let me just add in my comment for you. And we'll just say, before compressing lyrics, need to replace all special characters. And that's a dot, a comma, a this, a that, so those and return text without them. All right, so since we're dealing with text, first I'm gonna need to pass in the lyrics that I want to get rid of the special character. So I'm gonna need input and click on the settings icon and I'm gonna call this lyrics. Now, because this lyrics are text, I'm simply going to go to text and you can see right here, there is a replace all text with a segment and replacement. I'm gonna pull that, fill it in with text and text and text. I wanna replace all text. This lyrics are gonna be my text. And my segment is what I want to look for and my replacement is what I'm gonna replace it with. They're just text boxes. So the first thing I wanna replace is my dot and I replace it with nothing. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Now, I wanna replace all these, but there's only one space here. So I wanna do a period, a comma, a question mark, and the parentheses. Well, I can actually just combine these blocks. So I can go back here, pull that in there, but now this will be in text. Now this part, I'll just put in text and text, and I will add in a comma. So what this is doing, okay, it says get the lyrics, Replace all the dots with blank. Okay, now this says, okay, whatever you did there, so this is now lyrics without dots. Look for all the commas and replace it with blank. I'm gonna do it two other times. Uh, 
erase the other side of the parentheses. So if you look at this, I pass in lyrics. It gets rid of all the periods we're replacing with nothing. It gets rid of all the commas, it replaces with nothing. It gets rid of all the question marks, it replaces with nothing. The parentheses, nothing. The back parentheses, nothing. And then it returns that. So it's in, in essence getting rid of all my special characters. This is how you actually would do this process. And now we simply have to call this. So over here, we placed all the special characters in lyrics, right? Well, we have a procedure for that now. So all I'm gonna do is call the procedure. And what I wanna pass in is my lyrics. So I'm gonna pull that in. This is part two. But I have to put that into something. Part three says split all the lyrics into words. So this gives me all the characters without anything. Now, how can I split this into words? Well, if you think about it, how do you read? When you read a sentence, what makes you know that it's a word? Well, it's these spaces in between the words that you can kind of see. So if this is the lyrics without the special characters, part three says split it into words. Go back to text. I can split at spaces. That would give me, if you mouse over it, split text into pieces separated by, by spaces. So it would give me all these words as a list. So this is part three. So now this has to fit into something. Well, if you look at it, for each word greater than one in lyrics. So these are my lyrics. I split them into words. Now I can just simply do a for statement. So I'm gonna say for each word in this list. So I'm gonna go to control. You see it has a bunch of for each number, for each item, for each key in a dictionary. We want for each item. I'm gonna pull this in and put that in here. Now instead of some item, so you can, you can rename this so you, it's a little bit more clear. I'm gonna say each word in the list. The list is pretty much the lyrics separated. So this part is part four. So I know it's a little bit tricky here, but this is three and this is two. So you can just kind of see that. I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to leave in the front I want to get I want to keep the song and lyrics in there so I'm going to come and get the text and instead of the lyrics and here I'm not going to do it twice I'm just going to do one so for each word in this list I'm going to keep whatever's in that text box and I'm going to add the word so now we should see purple rain we should see all the lyrics and then on each line going down, you should see each word. New song. <laughs> the only problem is it pushed it all the way down too far. Let's just put a dash. So if I do no song, you can see all the dashes. These are all the different words. I do the in, it just pushes this down too far. So you can see it does each of the words. So you kind of get it, it works. And let's refresh our screen because I cannot see the new button. Refresh companion screen. There we go. So I still have just this text box up here that's showing the, the name and the lyrics. And we just saw that it's getting each of the words inside of there. All right, so what we're doing for a add the word to the compressed lookup with a compressed number. So what does that mean? Remember up here, let me just add a comment here. So this is just gonna be a dictionary of looking up words. So for example, if I have level, 
I might have the value one. If I have up, I might have the value two. If I have, what else is here? Five might be the value three. Four might be the value four. Three might be the value five. Any other words in this let go might be the value six. So in this example, I'm making the keyword, the word that I'm compressing, and I'm giving it a value. The value is gonna be how many words that we, the compressed count. So actually this would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, because we're starting at compressed words are zero. So the first word that I compress, the value is gonna be zero. It's gonna compress it as a number that we can kind of look up. That's what this is doing. So I wanna to add to this down here. So add to word compress lookup with a compressed with a compressed number. So I'm gonna to go to dictionary because I wanna add. And you can see, I can set the value for a key. The key, I want it to be the word that I'm looking up. The dictionary, I'm gonna get that, so I don't have to scroll all the way back up, is my word compress lookup. And I wanna set it to the current compressed count. So I'm gonna get this value and it's gonna be compress word count. So if I first compress the word five, which would be the first word you see, it is going to set five to zero. Pretty simple. Replace lyric with the blank space that we made for that word. So I'm gonna go back to text. There is a replace all that we just used. I wanna get my lyrics and I need to put it into here. So if I'm replacing all this with this word, I need to set it back to lyric. So it's gonna look weird, but I'm gonna come in here and say lyrics is equal to replace all the lyrics. What do I wanna replace? Well, I wanna replace this word. And what do I wanna replace it with? I wanna replace it with the blank space. Remember up here, we made this little blank space value. So I'm gonna replace that with that. So just to show you this is working, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna put it after the for statement, that way it doesn't push this all the way down. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna add in my text at the front. And let's actually change this to word compressed lookup so you can see each word has a value inside of it. And I'm gonna add, just so you can see, what the lyrics look like. And I'm gonna say new compressed lyrics. And I'm simply going to get the lyric. I know you're like, what are we doing here? We did it on paper, it made sense. This code might not be making sense, but all this is saying is go through each word in our lyrics, add it to the compressed word lookup, and replace the lyric with the blank space. Now, what I wanna do is, I don't want all the word values to be zero, so I wanna increase compressed word count before we test this. So I'm gonna pull in set, and I'm gonna set the compressed word count to what the current thing is. Compress word count plus one. So when I first set five, it says five, the word five inside of this dictionary to look up, I'm setting it to zero. I'm gonna replace all fives with a blank space. And then I wanna add zero plus one. So compress word count is now one. When I go back through this loop, four, four will be set in this dictionary to one. This will add one, it becomes two. Three will become the next and the next. So let's just see this working. Now this compressed word count, add one to that, that is part D. I did not do part C, we'll do it in a second, but let's just make sure that this works. So new song. So I want you to see what's going on. Up here, text box lyric, song name and the lyric. 
There's my song name. There's the lyrics. This is my compressed lyrics. I'm saying keep whatever you got in there. So it kept the lyric and the song name. I'm saying add in the words compressed lookup. That is this part. So if you look at it, yeah, this value is zero. They is 49. Wishing is 50. And is 47. On is 51. Me, 52. Bad. So you can see it has these values that we've added in here. And the new compressed lyrics looks like this. It replaced them with blank spaces, which is this part right here. We need to add lyrics compressed, which is going to simply be just these numbers. That way we can decompress this to kind of get back to this. But so far, so good. We have a word lookup, which is the word we compress and a number value. These number values are going to be seen in Lyrics Compressed, and we can use Lyrics Compressed to decompress later on. I know it sounds very complicated, um, but it's not. We did it on the unplugged activity. So let's just kind of complete this compression algorithm that we're working on. So we did part B. We're missing part C. Lyrics Compressed. So Lyrics Compressed. I also want to replace that word. So I'm going to go back to text. So I'm going to replace all text inside of lyrics compressed. The segment is the word. And I want to replace that with the value I set inside of here, which is this compressed word count. So just to show you what that looks like, let me add another two boxes in lyrics compressed do another backslash in and I'll just duplicate this and change this to lyrics compressed now there is one issue we have here remember I don't, I don't want to grab single words I want to have if they're greater if a word is greater than one so I need to do a check for that and I might have another issue, but I'll talk about that in a second. Let's just see this working. So new song. So look at this. Again, it has Run the World. Here's the lyrics. Here's the word lookup. You can see girls is 71. That's an issue that we're going to talk about. Here's the lyrics compressed. Everything is compressed. Now here, here's the lyrics, what they look like. So that is this part, lyrics, right? So right now it looks just like a bunch of blank spaces. Lyrics compressed, which is this part down here, looks like a bunch of numbers. So we can use this with this list right here to go backwards to find the whole lyrics. We're going to use this to kind of go backwards. Now, an issue we have, we have two issues really. One, we want the words to be greater than one. And also, we only want to do this if the word is already not inside of here. So, for example, if I do for each word, it's going to go from girls, we run this, and then you're going to get to girls again. Well, if I've added girls to this, I shouldn't have to add it again. So that's why we have these weird numbers like 71, because it's adding each time each one of these are in. And it's updating that number. So girls originally was zero, but then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The last girl is 71 because there's 71 words in this thing. We want girls to always stay as zero. So we need to add a conditional statement and we'll be done with our compression. So I'm gonna go to control. I'm going to pull in if. I'm going to put it right inside. I'm going to nest it inside of there. I'm going to pull all this and put that in there. First thing I want to check is if the word length is greater than one. And we want to check that the word we're trying to add is not inside of the compressed word lookup. So I'm going to need an and statement that comes from logic. Let's do the first part. Is this word's length greater 
than one. So I'm going to compare text. I'm going to go back to text. I'm going to look for length. And I'm going to say if the word is greater than one. That's going to give me words, not simply letters for anything here. Now I also want to check if this word is not inside of word compress because if it's in here already, I don't want to add, keep adding these numbers. I just want to do it one time. So how can I do this? This is a dictionary, but I can get simply the keys, which would give me a list. Remember that from dictionaries. So again, right here, returns a list of all the keys in a dictionary. So I can get all the keys of my word compress list, right? It's gonna give me girls, we, run, yeah, who, the, world. It's gonna give me those. Now, I wanna check if it's in this list. So if we go to list, is in list. So we have this, is in list, what thing is this word? is in this list. So this is gonna check the current word. So for example, it goes to girls. It goes to all of these. When it gets to girls again, is girls in this list? We don't wanna do this. So this says check to see if it's in this. We wanna do the opposite of that. I wanna say if the thing is not in the list. So let's just go over the conditional statement again. This is saying, Check if the word is great, if the length of the word is greater than one. We don't want single letters to encode, we want words. So two or more letters together, we will actually consider it a word and do that. So if it was I or A in a song, we would not encode those. We'll leave those there for the user to kind of use to help them guess. And this is saying if the word is not already inside of the compressed word lookup which is here. So now you see girls is 71. It should not be 71. Girl should be zero. We should be one. Run should be two and etc. So let's try this. This is all we need to do for our compression algorithm. Let's press new. So now look, let's see if we can go back to girls. So here you go. Remember girls was 71. So now you can see girls is zero. We is one. And it's not repeating. And it's not repeating because girls is already in this compression list. Even though girls shows up here a bunch of times, we only, it when we first see it, we give it that value. When we see we, we give it that value. Even though we is in here a bunch of times, we're giving it the first value. And this part of it right here is doing that. So that is how we're compressing our lyrics. Just to kind of go through this, this is the song. This is the lyrics that we're compressing. We split it into words, and then we gave the word a number value. So girl's value is zero, we is one, run is two, this is three, yada, yada, yada. We replaced all of these lyrics right here with blank spaces. This is lyrics, which is now just blank spaces. This is lyrics compressed. So now it's, if you look at it, if you look at it, lyrics compressed is zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So compression, if we use this right here, and actually let me just, let me switch this up and pull this here. So, so this is God's plan. So let's just look at this. Yeah is zero. So in my lyrics compress, anywhere I see zero, I would replace it with yeah. So this is yeah here, this is yeah here. Now they is one, so there would be a, a, a they here, a they here, they, they, they. You can see this is 11, this is a they. Wishing, which is a lot. If you can see up here, wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing. So wishing is number two. 
If you look in this, here's a two, a two, a two, a two, a two. So this is our word lookup, and it gives us the number in this lyrics compressed. So since lyrics is compressed, we can use these numbers to look up in here what the word is and replace it in this little blank spaces area to get us back here. So the, it's kind of in reverse now. This is what we have behind the scenes, this little number sequence, which makes no sense. You're like, what is this? But we're using this word compressed lookup value to have the word associated with a number. If we have that number, we can look up the word and put it into this little blank spaces and it will get us back to here. So that's what we're gonna do to decompress that. And we'll do that in the next video. So we're done with compression, head over to the next video so we can actually decompress this and then also work on guessing the song.